we had a 2001 Acura MDX brought to us where there was a pretty significant oil leak on the passenger side, rear side of the oil pan. After we sprayed the car down and cleaned up the whole area from any residual oil, we started the car back up and we could easily see oil coming out from the assembly that holds on the oil filter. Knowing that we were going to be taking some things apart, we went ahead and pulled off the tire for some better access. Looking at the workshop manual for the assembly, we can see that inside is a gasket that holds a filter, and that is probably leaking. And so we're going to replace that, and so we need to remove the three bolts that hold the assembly. Additionally, there are two wiring harnesses that need to be removed, and I highly recommend you remove those prior to trying to take the bolts out of the assembly and removing it from the block. The lower one is very easy to access and detached, whereas the upper one is a little bit more cumbersome. And I found that I actually had to detach the harness from the block using the screwdriver to wedge in between the attachment clip. The other thing we do before we move the assembly is to remove the oil filter, and that is to drain as much oil out of the assembly as we can prior to its removal. This is to try to keep the mess down to about as low as we can get it. And now we remove the assembly by taking off the three bolts one at a time, and tug on the assembly by hand. There will be some resistance to pulling off the assembly because it's been on so long. Because the gasket is so old and brittle, it's very difficult to remove. So I try to remove it with a sharp edge and a screwdriver. And I take as best care as I can not to scuff or scratch the surface of the assembly. If I scuff the surface of the assembly in the groove, it could potentially create an oil path for a future leak, even with a new gasket installed. So I approach it by trying to remove the filter within the gasket. And once I get that out, I tug on the gasket material itself and eventually it pops out. At that point, it's all about cleaning the mating surfaces, and so I use a Scotch-Brite pad with a little bit of lubrication from the oil to sand as best I can. I take a lot of care, make sure I don't damage or scuff or scratch the surface. I also use an excessive amount of parts cleaner to make sure that there's no residual debris from the cleaning that could possibly get in the oil and contaminate it. With the part all cleaned up, it's on to installing the new gasket into the assembly. This integrated gasket and filter did take a little bit of time to install, and so I just went slow and methodical, pushing each part into the groove on the assembly, making sure it was seated properly, and I made sure there was no debris anywhere before I installed the assembly to the block. After the gasket's installed, we just reinstall the assembly with the three bolts, hand tightening them at first and then torquing them down one by one. The torque spec for this MDX was 16 pound feet. With the bolts torqued, we reinstall the filter, attach the wiring harnesses, and verify the oil level. And then we can start the car and verify no oil leaks.